What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Corbin Moth. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Corbin Moth. Please don't do that. <laughs> Stupid Rex, get it? Corbin. Corbin's mom. <sighs> you wish. And you follow on Instagram, Twitter! Oh, juicy content. It's so juicy. Patreon, follow official Twitter account. Have you ever smelled the juicy content when it's gone bad? It smells like your mom. Oh my god. And uh, today. What are we doing, man? We're doing a movie review. What? We are? We are. Was I supposed to watch a movie? I, uh, I don't, I didn't. But let's just let's just wing it. You, yeah, I think we'll. They're be not gonna know the difference. No. <laughs> <laughs> we finally watched a. I want to make sure I'm saying his name correctly. Salman Khan, right? Correct, I, Salman Khan. I think not I salmon. Well, I think I spell it wrong. Well, I spell it like salmon. <laughs> yeah. No. Salman Khan. Salman Khan. Uh, yeah. Every there are stupid babies now. Like there's gonna be comments of I can now die in peace. Yes. Uh, well, lots of them. Uh, it took us a long time. Uh, we said we'd get to it, though. This is one of the first ones we saw of him that, in the terms of the trailers, I do believe. I know, because uh, there were a lot of people who, from the outset, were saying this is one of his best, so yeah. start with uh, his it's best. It's called Baji Raji Bajirajam. Garbanize! Baji Raji Bajira. What was that? That looks like Baji Ratnastani, so... <laughs> No, what you said was much I, better. I don't even oh, know. Oh, this is, we haven't had like a Pastrami Mastanani Corbinization in a long time. I've always been scared of this name, which is oh. why we hadn't watched it yet. I <laughs> love it. Uh, but yes, uh, yes, the premise is an Indian man with a magnanimous heart. I want to say with a monogamous heart. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> with a magnanimous heart, takes a young, mute Pakistani girl back to her homeland to reunite her with her family. Yes. That is the plot. Uh, starring, I mean, uh, directed by uh, Kabir Khan, uh, who uh, also did, uh, what was it? Ik, Ik, the, Ik the Tiger, the, which we yeah. remember the trailer, but we didn't see the movie. Uh, no, we didn't. Uh, and then he Yet. also produced it. And then it's starring tons of people. Uh, Salman Khan, obviously. Correct. Say her name for me. Uh, Harshal. Forgive me, I want to pronounce it right. Is that an, that's an I, right? Harshali Mahotra. Yes, Harshali Mahotra. Just off the bat. You're amazing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nawaz at one, one of the best things. We had Nawaz, come on. Uh, and then Karina Kapoor, Kapoor who, which we haven't seen since uh, Three Idiots. It's been a while. Well, no, we did. We also saw her in... Um, oh, good grief. We first saw her in Three Idiots. Mm -hmm. But we have seen her since. Oh, we've seen her a bunch of trailers. Yes, but I, I'm pretty sure there was one other thing that we saw oh, that dude. she was in. Okay. Uh, well, anyway. And then a couple other... Um, Ompuri. Ompuri. Yeah. Who, who uh, right when he came on, I was like, I don't know who that is, but I can tell he's like a legend. I, I knew when he came on. I didn't know who it was, mm -hmm. but the voice yeah. and the facial structure, right, right, like, right. I know, we know that. Yeah, we know that man. But yes, so uh, we finally watched a Salman Khan film, and... I'm going to say, I, I really enjoyed this film. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. I made it a point that when it started to let it be what it is and not try to make it something it's not. And when I did that, for the most part, I have obviously, like most films, unless it's something like Header, I've got critiquing oh, so things that I'm sure everybody will probably agree with. But for the most part, I... I no, it's, it's actually one of those films that I think is... It's really digestible for even an American audience, I feel. Because yeah. it's a it's a very one of my favorite parts is it's a very human story. It's just <clears throat> I, humans being good to other humans, regardless of where you live. Correct. Which is great. Uh that's it doesn't matter if it's the Indian Pakistan border, doesn't matter if it's um Israel and Palestine, doesn't matter where. It's a human story of you know, this should be a universal story of you know, you should get this kid back to her parents. Yeah. That's, that's universal. It, it took, it, it <clears throat> reminds me, I've said this before about, I forgot what movie I said this about that I equated and it was a compliment. It wasn't a derogatory. It, I, I said it reminded me of like the after school specials that they used to do back when TV was like the main thing that people watched for entertainment and there wasn't even cable. They were specifically family oriented things where the whole family could watch the film and there was a moral message to the film. And what they often did was they would take usually divisive and a complex issue, like some of the subject matter in this, 
And rather than dive into that, it just presented it in a way that like you could, I don't see how a little kid couldn't watch this and think the message takeaway from this is just because somebody's different from me doesn't mean that we're not all the same. Yep. Which is, that's probably my favorite thing about this um, is that that's the message of the movie. It's yeah. that even though we're different, we should still respect each other's differences and not be ugly yeah. toward each other. Yeah, regardless of if your your governments hate each other. Correct. Uh, the people are people. Correct. Uh, and yes, there are people who hate each other yes. for no good reason. But and, <laughs> and then there are evil people. But the universal story of good people helping other good people right. is a, a universal story that I feel like uh, the director did a, a fantastic job at showing. Um, uh, and I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And I feel like they were going for... Uh, we could talk about... Um, it, uh, some of the acting a little bit. Uh, I feel like a ton of people did really, really well on this. That's one of my other favorite things about the movie is that for the most part, there was never a point where I was bothered by bad acting. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we could talk about Salman because he's probably the most divisive actor, even before we saw this, of people having <laughs> extreme Strong different opinions, opinions <laughs> on <laughs> whether he is your big, he is your favorite actor ever yeah or he is the complete garbage of the universe so the bottom line is we're gonna get a lot of people upset no matter what we say right now yeah uh but uh i here's the thing uh i because i watched this with my wife and um she was like you know i can tell he it's similar to how i feel about the rock that's exactly who somebody I... who doesn't have a strong you could tell he's not a natural actor you could tell that. You, this is exactly the conversation I had with Androni. Yeah. And I said, he reminds me of, of Dwayne Johnson. Yeah, he, 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 you could tell he, he strugg struggles with acting. Not, but um, also, I feel like he was trying. I mean, he obviously is not the, the best actor in the world. But also, I never felt, at least in this, obviously, they, a lot of people said this is best. I never felt he was bad. Correct. I That's felt the same way like when I watched a uh, very, very different movie. But for example, uh, uh, Jumanji. Or the one he did with the little girl, which is an even better example, where he's the football player who no, finds the, out he has a daughter. Tooth Fairy? Right? Is that it? No, no. So in the Tooth Fairy, oh. it was another one. He's a professional football player who's like the ladies' man, and he discovers he has a little girl. Gotcha. Yeah, 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 was yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, When you watch that, I watch those. I would watch that again because Dwayne Johnson is enjoyable. I'm, I'm not bothered in any way by him. I believe him in the in the thing. But he's in no way, shape, or form going to get any kind of awards, accolades for his work because he's just not at that level, and that's not his fault. He just brings to the table what he brings, and I like what he brings. And let me also, we said this about him, me and my wife did. He is ridiculously charming. He's a Salman Khan. Khan. He's a very charming man. No, you didn't get that? I can't tell. That's, I think, what, that's what his big draw is, is that he's very charming. Yeah, I, it, when you say that, you know who I first go to in comparison? And again, this is a bias, and it's, it's really not fair, because I've seen so many more films of his, is there's a, there's a charming nature to Amir Khan. That reminds me of, like, Tom Hanks's charm. No, 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 a different type of charm. More of a... I can't believe my finger on it. More of the, the rock-type charm, but I feel like he even had a little more. It's just... Like you, I found the character. Maybe I'm differentiating between the character and him, and I guess they're one and the same. Well, he, he played be. a very Forrest Gump esque character. Yeah, he did. Like a very innocent, like, innocent, naive, naive, not really smart. Right, right, right. Uh, but, but he has a heart. Yeah. Right, uh, golden hearted. And then <laughs> turns into the Hulk when people try to hurt little kids. Which yeah, was great. which was great. That was <laughs> that's my probably one of my favorite moments. In the film, <laughs> is it's like okay, please let us watch him just destroy everybody in this room right now. Yeah, and he did. He turned into the Hulk yeah. when any time anybody uh, tried to threaten that little girl. Which exactly. Was, which was adorable. So I thought he did very well for, for, what, uh, for the, my first viewing of him. I was like, okay, I could see why certain people yeah. don't like you. I could see why people really like you because right. of your charm. Right. But I feel like he, he, I didn't feel like he hurt the film at all. Not at all. Uh, no, no, no. In fact, I, in fact, I think um, he was right for this. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say I understand what I understand two things. I understand people would enjoy the movie, and I understand why. Like, there's some really diehard fans of people who, for me, they're not my cup of tea. But I don't have anything negative to say about them. Like Jason Statham's the same way for me. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Jason Statham fan, but I don't dislike the guy. Yeah. I just I don't go out of my way to see his films. If I do see him in something, 
I enjoy him. Same thing with Dwayne Johnson. I, I enjoy Dwayne when he does what he does. My respect for Dwayne is I know his personal life and his work ethic mm -hmm. then, and what he, how he treats his fans. So that's a whole other level for me for mm -hmm. Dwayne Johnson. But those guys are not in the conversation. Like he, he's not in the conversation with Irfan. No, 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 no. And I don't think anybody equates him except the super, super diehards who and say that he's I the feel, greatest movie actor of all time. Yeah. And I feel like they actually did a good job surrounding him by a phenomenal cast. I thought everybody was great. Because like everyone else, uh, uh, the little girl, we could just, dude, she was fantastic. Freaking amazing. Fantastic. She put a great performance. I hope, I know she's probably still really young right now, but I'm hoping she's still going to pursue acting. Yeah, she has she, talent. You she has tell. talent. She did a really good job, especially when you consider the fact that she... Uh, spoilers, if you haven't seen this, we're going to talk about the film. Obviously. Um, that she doesn't even talk till the end of the yeah. film. Uh, she was <coughs> believable. Though. I believe this was a little girl who got lost. Absolutely. Um, I she was ridiculously adorable. Really adorable. <laughs> From the moment you're like, wow, yeah, she's really... She's cute. <laughs> she's When she was with her mama and she's all you see is that beautiful little face. Mm -hmm. I just It's like, okay, yeah, we're in. I, yeah. I love this little so girl. So I'm hoping... Uh, she didn't have a lot of credits, but obviously she's really young. So I'm hoping she's uh, continuing. Yeah, because she's, me too. She's got a lot, a lot of talent. And my my only critiques of this, and this is this is harping on the things that I if, uh, I would have liked to have seen, just for my own personal tastes. The one would be I um, I'd love to see this movie redone as an actual like deep drama with this issue, like a very realistic portrayal of what would happen. If this took place in real life, because this is very Disneyfied, family filmed, wrapped up in a nice little bow, mm -hmm. giving you the saccharine white bread picture of of the story, and I don't I, I don't fault it for that. I would love to see it done because I think the underlying story is really really strong mm -hmm. and very very compelling. There were actually um, after this came out a bunch of stories, including one I believe her name is Greta, who is mute and. Um, about 20 years old and then she came forward and, but she actually it was the reverse she's indian ah uh, and trying to get back into pakistan no no she's indian and she got into pakistan but she was, oh and she needed to she, come but back. she got into put in an orphanage until she was about 20. oh wow uh and so now the indian government's trying to um at least then i don't know if they've resolved it since but trying to find her parents through dna wow um so it, it, a lot of stories obviously wasn't based on a true story unless i just say the wrong thing every time and it was <laughs> yeah, <actually, laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah who knows who knows <laughs> now, help me with something there was my the one thing that was a giant question mark for me and i said what okay help me if i missed something he rolls down the hill. Nawazuddin is following the little girl being reunited with her mom. And Salman Khan is being chased by the authorities. Mm -hmm. He gets down to the river. He's standing there. He gets shot and falls into the river. Next time we see him, he's being interrogated with no bullet wounds. What happened? No idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, we'll talk I about didn't it. miss anything. Yeah, no, no. Okay. No. no. Um... <laughs> Unless it was just the wind that knocked yeah. me <laughs> No, uh, well, I'll talk about more about what I don't. I want to talk about more about some of the acting. Uh, because I feel like Karina Kapoor, I, I think she did well in uh, Three Idiots, from what I remember. But I think yeah, she did I, phenomenal in this. I, I For me, I liked her in Three Idiots and I liked her in this. For me, it was... No, I liked her in Three Idiots. It's yeah. just I feel like she you really like showed her acting chops in this, I feel. Um, yeah, yeah, for, I think she did really, really well. Um, I liked did you her in like both. this film? Did I like this film? I liked it. Okay. Every single time I say something, you're like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I didn't know I if you liked, liked it, it or not. No, no, no. <laughs> I was only doing that in, in like relationship with Karina Kapoor in terms of I felt I liked her equally in Three Idiots. Well, I, I didn't see that she gave like there was no like moment in Three Idiots that I, sh I could see her show her acting chops, and so that's what that would be. I would agree with that probably. Um, and and so yeah, I liked so. this, but I didn't love it. Oh no, I'm not. But this is similar to um, I. Th I just think it's a very digestible film in terms of. You could sit down and watch it and just be like, yeah, that's that's an enjoyable film. I, I really 100%. enjoy it. 100%. It, it, this would probably be, for example, if I have some friends who have kids, right? Mm -hmm. And if they said to me, what's a film that we could introduce our kids to Indian cinema to that would be, I would be one of the first ones. It would probably be my first Cause one. Because it's, 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 it's a very digestible, relatable, even to an American. You don't need to know... 
You just need to know that India and Pakistan have tensions. Right. That's the only thing you need to they, know. You don't right. need to know any of the really big, big details because it'll explain a lot of them. This right. is actually kind of educational a lot in terms of some religious things. Mm -hmm. For for me, uh, in certain places, uh, I learned some new things. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, 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 there was a lot about this I, I, I really enjoyed. Uh, there were certain parts I didn't like, but I'll get into that in a minute. Okay. Um, but Nawaz, I... Man, and the Waz is he can do anything. He's like your your first assessment of him is spot on. He is like Gary Oldman. Mm -hmm. He just never does anything bad, and you can put him in pretty much any role, and he'll take it on and he was, do it the right way. He is, he can now do comedy. <laughs> I was I was laughing out loud. Me too. It was the highlight of the film for me when he's standing at the train and people are walking in front of him while he's talking and doing his thing. I thought that was screaming funny. That was hilarious. Hilarious funny. He's so natural. He's so gifted. And then he could bring the intense moments when he, obviously, of course, when he needs to. The, Without any sign of Gaitande. No. You know? No. There's none of that. None in of there. the sign. And of none that. of the guy from the lunchbox. Lunchbox. Yep. Uh, he is. So incredible. I love that man. I think he can do one of my favorite actors ever. I just 100%. I, there's nothing. He's like Tom Hardy to me. He's just there's nothing he can do. Yeah. Like can't do. Right. Uh, he, he is just incredible. And then on Pori, I feel like when he came on screen, he had such screen presence. Presence. And, and that he, voice. Yeah. It's kind of like how I felt about um, the guy from the Deborah Dad, uh, Nasser Dan Shah. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. Like, you could tell this guy is is talented. Talented, trained, and weighty like, presence. Yeah. I love that moment. It's a beautiful moment, and again, it's a uh, yeah, it's simplistic, but I love the portrayal of it when he drops them off and makes it a point to bless him the way he would be blessed as an extension of you know he said how would I, what's the right way to I, I just those moments where it was the the like in the welcoming you know you can come into the mosque all of those things we just. You can't get enough of those kinds of messages, even if it's wrapped up in a bow and even if it's oversimplistic. You, I just, the more messages we can get like that about can't we all get along and just be kind to each other, I'm... Yeah, and I feel I'm like lost. that's what this film was going for and I feel like it succeeded. It was showing that we're all we're all people. Yep. Okay, like, uh, just... And I loved when, when you went over to India, people were people. They were, yeah. they were not really outside of... Uh, and then when you went to Pakistan, People were people. Right. Uh, and yeah, people there's, were... there's so many things in this that would just never have taken place in of real course. life. But that's not what this movie was no, meant to do. From the, from the outset, it was letting you know this isn't that kind of a movie. No, Salman comes in and just starts dancing. I know. I know. <laughs> For no reason. For no they reason. don't explain which is, it. Which is great. And then when the little girl, with it, hey, she likes to eat chicken. Let's do a musical number about eating chicken. <laughs> I, I love that. I was telling my wife uh, during the chicken scene, uh, I was like, this Pakistani girl is like, what is wrong with Indians? They just start, <laughs> they just start randomly <laughs> dancing and singing. Yeah. <laughs> And, and the other thing I wanted to say about that is the the uh, there may be some people and this wouldn't surprise me who um, be bothered by the fact, like deeply bothered, that he would portray something as um, difficult, complex, and painful as the tensions that go on politically. And I'll tell you, I I knew watching it. We are so ignorant to, we know like that much of what all of those strains are about. Of course. So we don't even comment on them because one, it's divisive and two, we're just ignorant to that and we don't live in that. We don't know what, we're, we'd be talking from out of our butts if we try to talk about that. The, the, we do know enough to know. It's a, a really, really painful, people are dying over this kind of thing. Yeah. And a lot of it is rooted in uh, ignorance, a lot of it is rooted in hatred and especially when you get a little kid, to, you know it's, I, I wish it would happen in real life, the thought of having a little kid be somebody and a little, ch little child shall lead them, you know, let a little kid be the person who can bring people together and be kind to each yeah. other. And I feel like uh, Salman was playing a very um, like I said, a Forrest Gump-esque role type mm -hmm. that's just Naive, mm -hmm. he he, golden-hearted, almost, almost autistic to where he he like he must get permission. He he must get right. permission. He must uh, nothing can no lies. Yeah, nothing on the sly. Nothing on the sly. Right. Uh, and so that, that I feel like that was like a. At first, I was like, hmm, this is a, a little. But then I was like, no, it's that makes sense for the character. Like that, you're you're making this character a very like he he's. Right, he is on it. Right, on it. On it. Right. Uh, the the issues I had with it were 
just uh, some of the, the wrapped up in a bow stuff that I always have issues of with course. in films. I, um, I thought you were hoping when he got shot, it was like, oh, cool. They just killed him. I was. Yeah, I, I was too. I was like, oh, this will be a nice end to this otherwise wrapped in a bow yeah, movie. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a, a really great, they should have, I mean, I get what they did at the end and people come together and chant, chant, chant. Kumbaya. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> I think it would have been a great ending right there. Honestly. Me too. Like, I really thought they were going Him there. getting shot, he, he, he became a, a, a martyr just to help this uh, little girl get back to her parents. Yeah, and a lesson to everybody of this shouldn't have happened, this innocent mm -hmm. man just trying to unite people gets killed. That should be a lesson to us all. I would have loved that. Yeah, that would have been really good. Uh, the, <laughs> the ending, which was sweet. Uh, <laughs> so not realistic. No, not at all. Just gonna open the <laughs> Indian-Pakistan border. Yeah, and everybody's just gonna run at the fence <laughs> and the, the soldiers are gonna let them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then it, it was really annoying. I, I get what they did. It was that she talked at the end. <laughs> I, I called it. It's happening in slow motion, and I said, she's gonna call his yeah. name. Yeah, she's you, gonna call his name. You knew it was coming. That's, of course she's gonna call his name. Uh, you, you knew it was coming. And yeah. you're like, oh, God. <laughs> that doesn't just happen. You don't go, you're not mute for your whole life, and then you could just, now I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> but she did, because she so loved him, and it was so important to her. I get it. Like and I said, the, it, it fits the film. It does. In the terms of the family aspect of what they were going yeah, for. Yeah, it's very much in the same line as family films that wrap up in a bow like Home Alone. Yeah. You know, it's got, this isn't going to happen in real life, but wouldn't it be great if it did? Yeah. Yep. It's it's one of those uh, utopian uh, yep. uh, things. Uh, uh, <laughs> but there was a, it was a lot of interesting stuff, I feel, that happened in it, and I, I, thir uh, I thoroughly enjoyed the entire film. I would watch it again if it was on. I'd be like, oh, this will be fun. Uh, I'd love to watch it with little kids. Yeah. I would love, like, like from anywhere from 7 to 12, I'd love to see their take on it. Also, because there'd be a lot of new information, because, you know, there's a lot of, they're like, why is he, why is he praying to a monkey? Yeah, why, I'll why, tell why, you what. Why can't he go into a mosque? Why, why are some people wearing, uh, I would, i tell you what, a lot of American children would need to watch that from that alone, because if they were watching that with a parent, helping them understand Man, there are way too many adults in America, let alone their kids, who have bigoted thoughts in their minds about what a Muslim is, what a Hindu is, and why they do what they do. You're absolutely right. Why is, why, when they were dressed as the women, why were they completely covered up from head to foot? Why do the Muslims eat meat, but this Hindu guy doesn't eat meat, but do all Hindus not eat meat? And what's the difference between him praying right there at his temple versus those people why praying could, in the why mosque? Could, why couldn't he sit with her when she was eating the, the right. chicken? Why couldn't he eat the vegetables in the same bowl as the chicken? All of those things are really important, both just to learn and also to build compassion and empathy for people that are different than you. Yeah. And you guys get that way more than we do oh, yeah. here. And obviously, in, in terms of religious diversity, yeah. even though America claims, you know, religious freedom and all that, but there's a lot more open. Most people know about other people's religions. Oh, you, you uh, can and here, respect it. Yeah. Here in LA, it's normal for us. And on any given day, here in just the San Fernando Valley, you go down Ventura Boulevard and you'll see everything. You go to a, you go to any public place like a mall, you'll see everything. You'll see blonde girls in bikinis and tank tops, and then right next to them will be some devout Jewish rabbi with a long beard and the full rabbinical regalia. And then next to them, you may see somebody wearing a burqa. And then next to them, I mean, we get all walks of life here mm -hmm. that are just melting. But that doesn't mean Americans know about the different walks of life. They don't. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the coasts see that a lot. Mm -hmm. The central parts of the United States not only don't see that a lot, but are there's a, still way too much intolerance in our country yeah. for anybody that's different than you. But yeah, that's why I feel like it, it's easily one of the most digestible films, like if we were to recommend certain things to Americans mm -hmm. uh, in terms of you just want to sit down and watch a good film mm -hmm. uh, that you're going to enjoy. Uh, for, it's, it's different than watching this and like, let's say, you know, our favorite film, like Header, it's like, oh, you yeah. know, one, certain people wouldn't like that film because you have to like great acting, dialogue, Shakespeare. Right. And really like cerebral yeah. thinking, yeah. thought provoking. This one, you don't have to, you, know, you have to think in terms of why, oh, why are they doing that? It's why very straightforward. It, it's, it's, it's very simple. But you enjoy that in a film. 
you don't you don't always want a film to be correct a thinker it's correct. like there's a place for these types of films and and i really enjoyed it and i could see why lots of people because even i when we did the trailer salman khan like people that hate him uh said this is his his absolute right best this is his film. best uh and and they really enjoyed this film. and and one one other thing about him in this was in the first musical number i was watching when i went oh okay he's not a dancer yeah yeah, he does struggle with that too, right? But then the chicken number for a guy who definitely is not um, a dancer and doesn't have a dancer physique, he actually moved pretty well in the Which second is number. What's so impressive about Rithic because they're oh. both huge. Yeah, people. but he's he's yeah he's oh, yeah. way bulkier. Yeah, I mean Rithic is a muscular stallion. He is much more like bulldog. He's yeah. much more yeah you know like a tank. Yeah, so much much more difficult to pull off dance moves with his physique. Yeah. And actually, not look like you are a complete buffoon. Mm -hmm. And in the second number in particular, the first number it was just okay. Clearly, you're not a dancer. Good for you for you're giving it your best. The choreography was designed for a non-dancer. Yeah. Then the, the the other dance number was a lot of fun, and I could tell it's like oh, he did a couple things where he started doing this with his upper body. I'm like oh, you go, Selma. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that part in Nawazan and Siddiqui, uh, and uh, he was trying to convince the police officer that this was his father. His home, yeah, the dad. <laughs> He's like, hit me, hit me. And he grabbed, we got the cultural reference, he grabs the shoe, which is a really big insult, right? He's like, hit me with the shoe. <laughs> <laughs> but even that guy, the casting of the, the guy who's at that door seemed, was very believable. Yeah, all every, the casting was very good. A, Nawaz, man, I love you, man. I want yes, to hang with Siddiqui. you one day. That's, I, that's a dream. I was aggravated. It was in mission and we hadn't seen him yet were yeah. you it's like where the freak is nawaz well i think i remembered uh when they said he, like the nawaz is he he's not in the whole thing oh, so okay. i was like okay maybe he's in the the second act but so he, he came in and he uh, thankfully had a really good role and obviously putting him he, he can carry anything anyway. and so help you know, i think that helped sound he's out as well. here's so, another thing about nawaz and Siddiqui, everybody not every actor can carry a film as the star or carry a show as the star and then also play a supporting role and just be backseat support to someone else. Mm -hmm. He can do anything. Yeah. He is an incredible, incredible actor. actor. But yeah, I really enjoyed the film. Uh, it's just, that's, all, that's what I can say about it. I, I, I would watch it again. Uh, it's, it's, it's just an enjoyable, it's sim and, similar to English of English in terms of not, yes. I, obviously I, I, I probably enjoyed that more uh, but it, it that had a bunch of little bow wraps, and then it had uh, some stuff like that. Yeah, but the, the, it's one of those films that, if it's on, I could watch it. The first two films that come to mind, if we were recommending to people for a family film, like sit the whole grandma and the kids, everybody can sit down and watch it. The top of my list are two films right now, and that is, I always mispronounce it, the one with the stars, uh, Tari, yeah, yeah, the, 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 I mean, like, the stars, on Earth, like yeah. stars on Earth, like stars on Earth, and this one, yeah. Both of them to me are, now that one's very, very different, much more emotional, a bit more cerebral. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is for me a perfect family film for people wanting to be introduced to Indian cinema. Absolutely.